Hey there, everybody. It's Linnea for Erin Lee Creative, and I will be creating two cards with the new Stripes and Hearts release that just released today. So my favorite part of this release is definitely the Stripes side. I love this whole set that kind of pairs together. So there's the stripe background stamp that I'll be using, the stripe sentiment stamp set, which is a clear stamp set with a bunch of typewriter-esque sentiments, the stripe die, and the stripe stencil, and they all pair together really well. So for my first card, I'm gonna start with the stripe background stamp. And this is um, a skinnier background stamp. It's probably about three and a half by five-ish inches. And so I'm going to position this in the center of an A2 piece of cardstock. I'm going to ink that up with Versamark ink and heat emboss with white powder. Now my idea for this first card was to have the white heat embossed blocks and then ink blend around them. So it's like a white block or a white rectangle with color peeking out from behind it. And I'm going to start at the top of my card with my pink and work my way all the way down my card to purple at the bottom. So I will have a complete rainbow on my card. So I'm going to take the stripe stencil, and I'm sorry my head kind of gets in the way there, but the best way to line this up is really to put your head right over the top and line this up so that the um, stripe stencil kind of borders that stripe background stamp. Now the idea with white heat embossing is that you can ink blend over the top and then wipe away the ink and it shouldn't tint your embossing powder. My white embossing powder I've had for a number of years, and I think that it is starting to kind of turn. If you have embossing powders for a long time, they kind of, sometimes they'll get chunky when they turn. But for me, I'm thinking it's turning because, especially with this red, when I go to wipe it away, you can see how a little bit of that ink is holding on to the embossing powder. So no matter how much elbow grease I put into this, my white embossing powder is tinted with each and every color that I add. In the end, I actually kind of like the look. It worked out really well for me, so I decided to run with it. But if you have good, fresh white embossing powder, it shouldn't tint like this. It should um, wipe away clean, and you should have a white emboss, uh, emboss resist effect. So here we go. I just used that stripe stencil over the stripe background stamp all the way down to the bright purple at the very bottom. And now I have a whole rainbow here. So this is what I'm going to take, the Stripe Sentiment Stamp Set, and you can see that, like I said, the Sentiment Stamp Set has a bunch of sentiments in a typewriter-esque font, and it even has like that distressed look to it. It's really a fun stamp set. I'm going to take a sentiment and stamp that onto a piece of black cardstock. I decided not to use the Stripe die for this. You could definitely cut it out with that, but I decided to just trim this as skinny as I could and trim it into a banner edge. That way it would fit onto my card design better. Since that Stripe die is about the same width as the Stripe stencil, it was going to cover up a whole um, colored block, and I didn't want to. I wanted to have the whole complete rainbow. I'm going to just add some foam tape behind that sentiment, pop that up right at the top of my card on that orange panel, and then finish it off with a whole bunch of gems. Really a quick and simple card, and my second card is even quicker and more simple. I'm bringing back ink smushing for card number two. Could we get a petition to bring back ink smushing? I feel like it was really popular, and then it went away, and it's one of my favorite things to do. So all I'm going to do is take a yellow ink and a pink ink, smush that down onto a piece of clear plastic. This is actually a stamp pocket that is ripped on the side, so I couldn't use it to contain my stamps anymore, but I'm keeping it for smushing purposes. And I'm just going to smush some ink on that, add a spritz of water, and put that onto some watercolor cardstock. I will dry this layer and add another layer or two. And then I'm going to stamp a, and heat emboss a bunch of sentiments from the Stripe Sentiment Stamp Set. And these ones I did cut out with that Stripe die, so you can see how thick and chunky this die is. It's really quite perfect. I cut out three different sentiments. I'm going to add foam tape behind them and add them onto my card in kind of like a zigzag um, staggered look. I will add some gems and some glitter to those sentiment strips to finish off this card. And there you have it, two cards with the brand new Stripes and Heart release from Erin Lee Creative. All links are below in the video description. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.